Hello friends, welcome to today's machine learning class. And in this class, we will see another important topic from second unit that is base optimal classifier. Base optimal classifier is a probabilistic model that makes the most probable prediction for a new example. For example, this is our population. In our population, there are three different classes. This is class 1, this is class 2 and this is class 3. Okay, all the samples will be classified into any of these three classes and one new sample enter into our population. For example, X will enter into the population. By using this base optimal classification, we can easily predict the X will belongs to which of these classes. Okay, so this is closely related to maximum a posteriori hypothesis. Okay, here. A probabilistic framework referred to as MAP that finds the most probable hypothesis for the training data set. Okay, so by using this optimal classifier, we can easily classify the class of this particular X that is the new sample. Here the most probable classification of new instance is obtained by combining the prediction of all hypotheses weighted by the posterior probabilities okay this is important right here the equation this is this particular equation explains how to calculate the conditional probability so this is the conditional probability isn't it for new instance vj from a set v given the training data d and given the space of hypothesis capital h okay here we are having the hypothesis space capital h from this we are having the training data and training data are classified into for example two classes okay now the v j will enter into this particular space hypothesis space now we need to classify this particular v j okay so here we are having already training data training data d and D is already classified, right? So, with the help of this training data, we need to classify this Vj, right? Now, P of Vj gives D, that is with respect to D, we need to classify this Vj, which is equal to summation of Hi belongs to capital H, P of Vj gives Hi into P of Hi gives D. And this is the equation right here the optimal classification of new instance is the value vj for which vj gives d is the maximum right now the base optimal classification is the arg max that is we need to identify the maximum value of vj that is vj belongs to v isn't it so this v is nothing but the whole population whole population from the whole population we need to pick only one vj right and summation of hi belongs to capital h so hi is the hypothesis of this particular one and that belongs to the entire hypothesis space P of Vj gives Hi into P of Hi gives D. Okay, this is the formula for base optimal classification. Now, let us see one example for this base optimal classifier. Here, we are having three hypotheses H1, H2 and H3. Okay, in capital H, we are having three hypotheses H1, H2 and H3. Right. And the posterior probability of these hypotheses given the training data capital D are H1 equal to 0.4, H2 equal to 0.3, and H3 is also 0.3. Okay. So these are the posterior probability values for corresponding hypothesis. Here, H1 is the map hypothesis that is maximum a posteriori hypothesis because the value of h1 is greater than all the other hypothesis value hence h1 is the maximum 
posteriori hypothesis value. Suppose a new instance X to be classified by using this optimal classifier and which is classified positive by H1. Okay, but negative by H2 and H3. Okay, so the new instance is positively classified by H1 and negatively classified by both H2 and H3. Okay, here the probability that X is positive value is 0 0.4 because the H1 is equal to 0 0.4, isn't it? And the probability that is negative is 0 0.3, sorry, 0 0.6 because H2 value is 0 0.3 and H3 value is 0 0.3. So, the total is 0 0.6. Okay. Hence, the most probable classification is negative because the negative value is higher than positive value. Right. Now, X is classified to negative. Okay. Here, the possible classification of new instance is either positive or negative. Right. Here, the hypothesis 1's probability of hypothesis 1 with respect to D is 0 0.4 and H1 is positively classified. So, positive with respect to H1 is 1 and negative probability is 0. And the probability of H2 with respect to D is 0 0.3 and H2 is negatively classified. So, probability of negative with respect to H2 is 1 and positive is 0. And just like the same, Probability of H3 with respect to D is 0 0.3 and H3 is also negative classification. So, negative is 1 and positive is 0 here, right? And therefore, the summation of H1 belongs to the entire hypothesis space. Probability of positive HI into probability of HI with respect to D. Okay. Now, the probability of positive with respect to H1 and probability of H1 with respect to D just like the same H2 and H3. Right? Now, we directly substitute the value with this formula. So, probability of positive with respect to H1 is 1. Isn't it this value? And probability of H1 with respect to D is 4. This is 0 0.4. Okay. Just like the same, the probability of positive with respect to H2 is 0 and H2 with respect to D is 0 0.3. Okay. Here, the probability of positive with respect to H3 is 0. See, this is 0 and this value is 0 0.3. Okay. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, we can simply remove these two values, then the value is 0 0.4. Okay. That is the probability of hypothesis with respect to positive value. That is equal to 0 0.4. And just like the same, we need to compute for negative value. Then H1 is classified to positive only. Hence, the negative value will be 0. So, we can remove this. So, this is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 which is equal to 0 0.6. Okay. Hence, the arg max which is the maximum argument value, the positive, sorry, the negative value, isn't it? So, Vj belongs to positive and negative. Okay. And summation of Hi belongs to capital H, P of Vj gives Hi into P of Hi gives D which is equal to negative. The base optimal classifier is slightly different from the base classifier or base theorem and the base optimal classifier is based on the maximum a posteriori hypothesis model, right? And this is another important question from second unit and you can expect this question from two mark or five mark questions from the university examination, okay? For uh, more information, please go through your textbook and in the next class, we will see another important topic from second unit. Thank you.